Hello, I'm Jane Damosto of We Are Here Venice, and I'm going to be talking about a project we're in the process of finishing with um, Dutch collaborators called the Exploratorium. And it seems incredibly relevant to the idea of digital ethics. Um, Venice is closely associated with the Biennale or vice versa. And we have always paid special attention to the types of mutual enrichment that there is between the two entities, as well as the imbalances in the city, both potential and real. When Venice was declared a red zone as the coronavirus epidemic in Italy grew into a pandemic, we were beginning discussions with the organizers of the 2020 Dutch Pavilion as they were planning a summer school in Venice. Caroline Nevejan, the Chief Scientific Officer of Amsterdam Municipality and a social, sociology professor at the university, is the curator of what was to be the parallel programme of the Dutch Pavilion. And she'd involved a huge variety of very interesting guest lecturers from different institutions and countries as well as disciplines and backgrounds. This was going to be a chance to cultivate knowledge, albeit in an as yet undefined process. Building on the fateful, timely theme selected by the curator of the Biennale, which is, how can we live together? Caroline had chosen to investigate values for survival via the parallel program in the summer school. Our partnership with Caroline and her curatorial team responded to the pandemic by changing the focus from teaching to doing within the limits of possibility brought by confinement due to the coronavirus. We were all curious to find out how people could work together and what they could achieve with just a digital platform for working together and to find what the necessary values for survival would be for the decade to come. We call this the Exploratorium and it asks, who are we and how can we design for diversity and how can we design for uncertainty? The issues that were explored include the art of protest, new systems of legal protection to balance the significance of non-human life, novel approaches to tourism based on rhythm analysis, community engagement to improve green spaces and address the climate crisis. Local dynamics were considered also in terms of their potential regional and global effects. We were thinking about of new ways to give voice to what we do not see or hear even the underwater sounds in the lagoon. We thought that values for survival would be a way to reconceptualize the integration of social and ecological dynamics at a time where the destruction of life on this planet, as we know it, is just a decade away. According to the theme selected in Amsterdam, a set of connections were set up with Venetian academics, local experts and citizens, people of very different backgrounds, thanks to the breadth of the network that We Are Here Venice has built over the years, were brought together and it shows our commitment to recognising and incorporating all forms of local knowledge in order to build an integrated understanding of the main issues affecting the future of the city in the lagoon. Our mission to promote durable and tangible outcomes from the periodic Biennale exhibition was being achieved without the Biennale even taking place. There were 12 tracks with a core pairing, which on one side had a Venice-based representative and the other side, there were one or more international participants introduced by the Amsterdam team. The choices were made on the basis of area of interest, together with some discussion about 
temperaments, strengths and weaknesses. This often makes people from different disciplines, backgrounds and age groups. In the very few cases, there were communication difficulties or work situations on the Venice side that obstructed the collaborations. Otherwise, all tracks were extremely successful in terms of the sharing of experience, knowledge exchanges and the final result. The staffing conditions stipulated explicitly that all participants had to embrace the opportunity to join the Exploratorium and not consider the project any type of burden, given the prevailing complexities of lockdown, the pandemic, logistical issues and economic pressures that were in everybody's lives. Anyone living through a strange situation <laughs> was released from the obligation to participate. And on the Exploratorium side in Amsterdam, there was a budget provided to compensate all freelance participants and also support the coordinating role of We Are Here Venice. Many working groups expanded beyond the original pairings and included others that were um, already part of each so-called track. The pace and format of each track's work plan was determined autonomously by the group within a very specific set of de deliverables that was really the number of pages to fill in the final publication and a time frame that was dictated by the curatorial team. This specificity made it strengthen the collaborations while also giving them an enormous amount of freedom to think and explore what they weren't sure was going to happen by the connections that were being made. The total length of the initiative was three and a half months, although some tracks took longer to get started and had less time to work in. And in internal group communications often involved periodic online meetings and there were a few plenary events involving all participants. A launch in May gave the participants the idea of all the themes, people, places and concepts. And then final presentations were made on the 14th of J July, where there was, by which time the lockdowns had ended just about everywhere. And um, both the Venice end and the Amsterdam end included you know, physical gatherings of real people as well as the online platform that connected Amsterdam and Venice and other people that were in other parts of the world. I'll show you now uh, a section of this last um, set of presentations. I'm not going to say it all again, but anyway, we're, I could just start by quoting Pink Floyd and say, we wish you were here. Um, we Are Here Venice is an NGO dedicated to the promotion of evidence-based policymaking. I'm an environmental scientist and after many years working in research, I became frustrated about the gaps between what the research tells us and what people do. So the aim of this NGO is to, strengthen, is to strengthen these connections. And that's what the Exploratorium has really been about too. Um, we're thinking all these projects have, have taken, have, have elements that will be touching the decision-taking sphere, um, which includes anyone along the spectrum from community groups to politicians themselves. We also have been continuously probing the knowledge sphere in a quest for missing answers to the critical issues, challenging not just the future of Venice and the surrounding lagoon system, but the planet as a whole. Shortly before lockdown, I was contacted by the team planning this parallel So 
Um, that was just a little bit more of me talking, but a slice of, of how the final presentation took place. Um, and uh, I just want to note that the um, co-curators of the Exploratorium have still not met each other, but um, the, the, I just, um, uh, well, I want to say that um, the connections that were made during this have been incredibly positive and further details will be presented soon in a publication that's in the final stages of being prepared. And there is already a definite legacy from these connections in, the terms, of, in terms of ongoing collaborations that are continuing in, in Venice. Moving forwards and considering what we've learned from the unprecedented situation caused by the coronavirus pandemic and the improvised process, there are some key points. That there was a huge amount of richness that came from see seemingly random connections. A soft but clear operating network was an important part of structuring the collaboration's deliverables, timelines, and format, and specific to what the initiative that I'm participating in now, I want to say that online communications can't be directly compared with real life meetings. Each has a very different way of mediating the information sharing, exchanges, attention levels, etc. But the um, a lot was produced and we even think we found a new form of solidarity that cannot substitute the real life events but is an incredibly valuable complement to them. Thank you very much. <laughs>